Have you ever been one of the dads that wore the hashtag broke t-shirts at Disney? Well, gentlemen, today, these videos are geared towards you. Let's go. Well, everybody, we're back again and we're walking in the TTC parking lot. In today's video, my beautiful bride and I are going to take you around and show you all the resorts. And little did you know that you could come and park in this parking lot, pay, what is it, $25? $25 parking. You can get on the ferry boats, go over to Magic Kingdom, and then jump on the other smaller boats to go resort hopping. That costs you absolutely nothing to get a chance to see what all the other resorts have to offer. So that's what we're gonna do today. We've already parked at the TC, TTC parking and we're going to go see what they have to offer. I don't know if you heard that baby or not, but I think he said what I like to said, say, oh my gosh, I can't talk today. I think he said, let's go in a baby voice know what TTC stands for if you know let me know wait I know but I want to see if you know it's the thing I love about Florida around this time of the year it's not extremely hot we have some cloud cover and it is looking beautiful outside right now. So we're taking up the walk to go see some of my friends and the security cast and get a quick scan of ourselves. And we're gonna drop, not drop, we're gonna jump on the ferries. We're gonna take a little ride over to Magic. So, we're contemplating on where we should start first. Yeah, okay, Maybe we'll good. ask you. We do know we're gonna go check the Wilderness Lodge out. We're gonna go check the Polynesian and the Floridian and the Contemporary. Those four stops is where I'm looking at going to today. So, why don't you tell me, where do you think we should start first? We're inside TTC now. And uh, TTC, TTC stands for Ticket and Transportation Center. Magic Kingdom now, where I work at, that's where Ellie works at. So we're off one big boat, now we're gonna go take a small boat ride. We gotta go now. The scenery on the man-made lake. Imagine how much dirt had to be moved to build this lake. It's a lot. So right now we're at the docks for the Wilderness Lodge and the Wilderness Campground. We are gonna go to the Wilderness Lodge and check that out. I've been really curious and my, my wife Ellie's been curious about that place too. So this place has a dock for two boats. One of them goes to the lodge and the other one goes to the campground. And so we're gonna go check it out. Is that right, honey? Hi, honey. Beautiful. 
All right, so just a quick recap. So we are on the boat. So just got informed by one of the deckhands that we are actually going to go to the lodge and the campground. So depending on where we end up, depending on where we end up at, we'll be able to hopefully maybe see both. But I think we're going to end up at the lodge first. So just a quick recap. We so just the cost just to get on to ride this boat right now has only been twenty five dollars, and that was to park the car. Who is that lady? We like sprinkles. I like sprinkled donuts. We're sitting inside the Wilderness Lodge and I'm gonna tell you this place is immaculate. Built in May of 1994, this place has got a stunning look, full of trains throughout this entire place. Some of the trains are just amazing and I'm a train guy, I love trains. So, I mean, if you're looking for more of the rustic side of a place to just to come look at, um, come stay at, but remember, this is a video about, you know, trying to see things as cheap as possible in Magic Kingdom and Walt Disney. So again, we've only spent $25 and I feel like I'm walking through a museum right now, uh, looking at the trains and some of the trains and some of the rustic items throughout this place. It is huge. I mean, you saw how high that ceiling is in the, uh, in the den area, so. Definitely a place to come check out. Um, I don't know what the cost is to stay here on a nightly basis, but I will guarantee you this. We will be looking into getting the opportunity to, to uh, spend the night here. So come check this place out. 
Um, I'm gonna go check the bar out, see what it looks like. Takes a video of it there. So I hope you've enjoyed this video so far. We're gonna check a few more resorts out. Um, we're kind of waiting for the rain to pass by us and then we're gonna go back at it again. I do appreciate all you guys for sticking there. This is gonna be the most favorite train display I've ever seen right there. The cow hauler and the coal hauler. Man, beautiful. All right, honey, what'd you think about that one? That was amazing. Did you enjoy it? It's absolutely beautiful inside. What did you like about it the most? The lobby. The lobby? Yes. All the big, huge totem poles. Saw Mickey. Saw Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. And we saw a bunch of trains. Yes, because Walt Disney was a train the night. And we love trains in our we family. So, I don't know about you guys, but this view out here prettier than what it is at Magic Kingdom. I'm just a little biased. And I'll say sorry, not sorry. But let me show you this. How could you not love this view? So I hope you can see that Florida still has a lot of nice places to go to, especially around here in Orlando, when you just want to break away from the quietness and come see what Orlando was truly about. There is a lot of beautiful scenery out here, a lot of places you can just go that won't cost you a whole arm and a leg to go to. So if you ever decide that this is a place you want to move to, I think this was probably the best decision that I ever made is moving here to Florida bringing my family here to see the happiness in this lady's face behind me and um to get the, the chance to experience the life out here so it's a beautiful place to live i absolutely love it out here um it is a beautiful night very cool very brisk breeze blowing through out here on the water um i know we hear a lot of noise about how the cost of living here is high and I know it's high here but it's high everywhere um, but for a chance of this scenery the freedom that the state offers you it's definitely a place to think about coming and moving to if that's something that you ever decide that you want to do I'm your man I have a whole team of people that work with me at LPT Realty and then we'll be able to help you find the house of your desire and your dream and we'll also help you if you ever need to sell the home too, that if you do actually live here, that we can help you sell your home. So I know I'm kind of repeating my words, don't really care right now, but uh, I'm just in such awe right now of this place out here. I have not got to see this yet. So it's amazing, amazing. And I hope y'all have enjoyed seeing it so far. Not bad. We got to see 
a, a lot of cool stuff. So it's kind of like, oh, when the lights come on. So it's like uh, a modern version of uh, window shot. So we're window shopping at Disney right now. Going around the resort hopping, window shopping. That's what we're going to call it today. I like how that sounds. So we just got off the boat, as you can tell right there. It's a cool little ride. I want to thank them for taking care of us. Getting a little bit of a thunderstorm right now too out here in the area, so so it's been pretty cool. Um, we're gonna flip this camera around here in a moment. We're gonna show you the contemporary from where we're at from here. And uh, we can show you magic too as well. Uh, but yeah, eh, man, we're having a blast. $25 folks, it's all it costs you to have this much fun. Resort window shopping. I love the sound of that. Resort hopping. No, it's resort window shopping. This is my video. I'm just kidding, honey. Honey, don't walk away from me. Babe, babe, come back. Hey, honey, oh my gosh, she's leaving me, folks. But I'll catch up to her because I'm faster than her. What? So there it is, folks. And that's the coolest thing ever. You can see part of the castle. You can see the boat docks. The contemporary over here on my right. So let's see if we can get a closer shot of it. So not a bad looking little shot of the contemporary from here with the water look and a thunderstorm in the background. We're gonna put some music behind that thunderstorm. That's the walkway leading up right now to the Floridian. Man, we have never been at this place before. And uh, man, we've always been excited about coming here. This is on our bucket list of places to come and stay at for the night. And uh, we'll see how that works out. A lot of big venues happen here. We're talking major weddings that happen at this place. Uh, just beautiful, beautiful places. So like I said, if you ever thought about moving to Florida, still, now's the time to do it. I know we talk high about the prices here and the cost of living here, and it is high, but if you have all your money situated and right, and you can definitely afford to live here, that's the place to come to. That's something that you decide you wanna do. Just let me know, I can help you out. And uh, you know, if you do live in the Florida area and uh, you wanna live closer out here to this area so you can enjoy it more, um, we've had that house for five plus years. Folks, you got a lot of equity built up in it now. And uh, now may be the time to sell. We are still in the seller's market. I know I'm talking and probably should have this camera face to me. That is one beautiful woman right there. This is what happens when you're a Disney fanatic. Two things she likes besides me. I'm three. We got Disney, beaches, then her husband. Me, her husband. Look at this, folks. This is amazing, beautiful. area I'm not going to show too much of the pool area I'll just do a quick glimpse around it check that out me I really like this style of homes and uh, the older style homes that look like this I really go cuckoo crazy over homes like this, so that's why I, I like the Floridian probably more than any other resort here. This is definitely the bucket list one that I want to come and stay at. I think we should do one night at the Floridian and then one night at the Wilderness Lodge.
tell me what y'all think. So Ellie and I decided to make a stop now. We are in the Grand Floor Arena right now, on the second floor, in the Enchanted Rose Room. So sit down at a small little table. We're gonna stop here, get us a drink. Probably right out this little summer storm that's heading this way right now. And then we'll be back at it again. So I hope you enjoyed the clip so far right now. Um, the drinks here uh, are a little bit on the steep side, but uh, I asked for Coors Light, Miller Light, and uh, unfortunately they didn't have any of that beer here. So if you're uh, just a modern day Coors Light, Miller Light kind of fun guy, it's probably not a place for you to come drink beer at. Not unless you want Bud Light or any of the IPAs or any of the hard cider beers and that kind of stuff. To me, that's not my jam. I'm not a fan of any, none of those beers. I will never be a fan of Bud Light, so um, yeah, we're going to try a whiskey drink instead. It's been a long time since I've had any whiskey. We'll see how this goes. So a little fun fact about the Grand Floridian, it was built in June of 1988 is when it opened up to the public. No, no, hold it there. Well guys, the Grand Floridian was a blast. We sat down, we had a drink, we got to mingle with two great cast members uh, that worked as waitresses there. Um, learned a huge lesson there though. Don't tell somebody you want their favorite whiskey drink. Not to be want to spend $25. So all in all we spent about $45. So right now if you were to do what I did and make the mistake that I made, um, yeah, you'd be about $70 in right now before 10. So the drink still isn't bad, but the drink was really good. We met two really nice people there. I uh, got to see some of the fireworks from the top. So we're on the monorail now, and uh, we're gonna stop off over here at Magic Fest and go check the Contemporary out. So it's gonna be our third and final stop of the night. So we're gonna see what we can get into over there. Folks, here's a contemporary, really a cool place to just kind of come and hang out at. It's got Chef Mickey here, got quite a few bars in the place. Uh, didn't really shoot a whole lot of footage from here, but uh, but yeah. So we didn't stop to drink or anything here because of how much it costs at the Floridian. But uh, it's still a fun place to go. I've had a Fun night with my wife. Um, 
something that we really, really wanted to try and do. So I've uh, ran down a whole battery on my phone. So it looks like we're gonna have to cut this thing short, charge the phone up, and uh, well, we're gonna head on back to Ticket Center and go for a ride. So guys, I hope you appreciated it. If you have any questions, if you want to see any properties around here, please feel free to reach out to me. Is there anything I can help you with and sell in your home? Just let me know. Heck, we may even come back tomorrow with more videos tomorrow. So, but I'm about to run out of battery. So we're gonna end this tonight. Let's go.